This is part two of our hydrate lab. We're going to go ahead and do the percent composition portion. We're going to use the total amount of hydrated salt, the amount of anhydrous salt left, and the amount of water lost in order to determine the percent that is water and the percent that is salt. We're going to have part over whole times 100% for both of them. Once we get that, we're going to go ahead and insert into number 9 and number 10 our answers. We have 2.41 grams of water as our part that we're interested in, and we're going to divide it by our whole, which is going to be 4.48 grams of hydrated salt. So this will be our Epsom salts, our magnesium sulfate, unknown hydrate. Ultimately, we know that it's supposed to be heptahydrate, but for this lab, we'd be determining X. Again, part over whole times 100%. If we look at the items that cancel, we'll notice that we'll end up with percent water. And we have 53.79% that is water. If we went ahead and took 100% and subtracted that, we would know how much salt was left. Or we can go ahead and do the exact same calculation, except using the amount of anhydrous salt that's available, 2.07 grams of magnesium sulfate after it's been dried out. That is our part. And we're going to divide by the same whole of 4.48 grams of the hydrated salt sample that we took at the beginning. We'll then multiply that by 100%, and we'll end up with our answer. Again, if you look at the units that are going to cancel, we'll see grams go away and the hydrated salt go away, but the percent sign and magnesium sulfate, the anhydrous magnesium sulfate, will remain. We end up with 46.2% magnesium sulfate. Again, we could have done 100 minus 53.79% to get this remaining percent and that's shown here. Now, because of rounding, you'll notice that I'm off by a hundredth, and that's okay. If we were to just go ahead and subtract, we'd still be within 5% error, which is what I allow. And depending on which one we solve for first, we could get the other one, so both are shown there. We'll go ahead and enter that in. Click Enter or click Away and it should turn green for us.